Hello my dear Sagittarius, this is your love and spirituality reading for the time between April 1st and April 15, 2018 with me Queen of Cups Tarot. I have put astrological information for the month of April in a video of its own that you can check out in my playlist Q&A. You can also find it at my webpage www.queenofcupstarot where you can also find and buy all the decks I'm using in this video. There is a sub subscription service up on my webpage that you can take part of if you want to learn more about spiritual growth, yoga and tarot. And if you pay uh, now, you will also get uh, um, next month's uh, <laughs> subscription as well. Uh, so it won't only be 15 days in Mars, it will be one and a half uh, month subscription. Uh, okay, so I used the modern spell cast as tarot by Melanie Marquis and illustrated by Scott Murphy and I will start shuffling your cards. So when I open your deck here, I see uh, the Queen of Wands and the High Priestess. Uh, so <laughs> it seems like you are on a very spiritual quest uh, Sagittarius within the feminine realm so it means that finding God within instead of finding uh, God uh, on the outside of you so listening to yourself um, stepping into your own authority trusting yourself um, also listening to the wisdom that comes uh, from within uh, but it's kind of the same trusting this wisdom okay so I call the divine with love and light and here we have the wheel of fortune together with the high priestess so the wheel of fortune is 10 the high priestess is uh, number two um, here with the wheel of fortune it's um, probably something old that you are supposed to solve now uh, with this wisdom that you have obtained uh, by the different challenges that you have been through the last uh, couple of many years okay maybe since 2012 or 2014 or whenever your quest began okay this latest with all the challenges uh, where you learned all these things that you were supposed to learn so you can solve this karma that you now are supposed to solve okay so i call the four archangels in the four corners of the world and here we have a king of cups together with the high priestess so this is usually scorpio high priestess is also very in tune with water since uh, she's ruling or being ruled by uh, the moon uh, so um this is healing uh, this is healing of your whole body that's going on so the salvation of the karma it's not like you have done anything wrong uh, it's you have hurt yourself and uh, uh, now this karmic cycle uh, gives you a chance to heal. Uh, when you heal, you also end the karma. So when you heal your inside by staying with whatever is inside of you, you also heal past uh, karma. And when you start to listen uh, to your own inside, your own body, your own wisdom, you trust yourself, you trust your own authority, you're also healing a lot of uh, old karma. Uh, this karma has came, <laughs> it's come to you because you were failing yourself, okay? So sin means kind of missing the target and missing the target is when you're not aligned with yourself, then you will miss because you're not centered uh, and then you cause a lot of stupid reactions in your life that will have a counter effect for a long time uh, and every time the planet's in, in a certain position it will repeat again and again and again and again until you don't miss the target and how you won't miss the target is by centering inside yourself what I said uh, we can take the whole list self-love um, aligning with self uh, self-authority uh, self-respect uh, trusting yourself, all these things. Uh, so then you will become healed and in the process you will solve a lot of karma and you will become enlightened. And this is uh, King of Cups, it's like a person of Zen, person of Tao. No one can touch you if you are healed, uh, if you kind of have stepped into the room of I don't mind what happens. Uh, when you do that, uh, you just 
automatically start to heal uh, because whatever comes you are not upset by it so you're not causing ripples and waves that causing new karma you will just be like, okay okay so this is what is right now and you feel the feeling of it all and you're not scared of your own feedback system from your emotions uh, so that's a very beautiful centering uh, of your your being okay so i call the six elements earth wind fire five of cups this is the old karma where you got hurt uh, fire water spirit and ether to join us here today here we have a king of pentacles so king of pentacles is about abundance and king of pentacles um, is a person that have very strong boundaries and taking care of himself and his family and the closest to him but the other one they can be starving outside his castle doors <laughs> so um, I'm thinking either you need to more of this like you need to take better care of yourself have better boundary or maybe you need to also see that all children are children of the divine so uh, what you're doing to uh, someone else is also something you do to yourself uh, so if you're too selfish uh, try to loosen up if you're too um, too little selfish like you need to have more boundaries then step up and have better boundaries uh, so it's also this um, king of pentacles can be very like staying in their comfort zone because they want to avoid disappointment uh, then that is a little bit of a problem, okay? Because uh, wherever you go, there you are. So <laughs> uh, the problem is only a problem because it feels like a problem. If you wouldn't mind what happened, you would mind what, what's happening to you. We are uh, anyway just going to be like ashes to ashes, dust to dust one day. Um, our bodies is extraordinary because much of the atoms in the body has been built by they could only uh, have come by you or your atoms once being in an exploding star okay uh, so don't hold on <laughs> to anything it will be gone and new things will be created and it's beautiful so uh, don't mind what happens whatever happens it's fine uh, your soul is eternal uh, you have been here for eons you will be be here for eons to come uh, so let it go whatever it is that you're holding on to or your fear of disappointment just do it and feel the disappointment and stay with it and it will heal uh, old stuff that you have been holding on to okay so uh, i want a clear view reading for my dear sagittarius viewers and i want my dear sagittarius to have love in their lives and to find themselves in loving relationships I also want you to have creative success and to be able to walk on your highest path towards your highest destiny. Oh, oh so it's done. Uh, I also have a little piece of a match here. <laughs> Maybe something is on fire now. Okay, so I will just tune in for a few seconds to you, Sagittarius, and your reading. Oh, it's a beautiful energy with you here today so <laughs> i'm lucky to read for you today okay uh, so uh, this is your future sagittarius and this is your now and this is the past uh, so in the past we have the hero font so that was when the authority was outside of you you were listening to other people uh, and and try to avoid punishment by doing the right thing uh, so you were underneath the boot of outside authority, searching for um, accomplishment or uh, fulfillment or even um, uh, love, of course, but also this uh, like to get respect and, and to be um, cherished from the outside. Uh, you didn't look on the inside, so you bowed before someone that was wiser than you, older than you, had more power than you uh, to get this what you want. So you needed to subordinate yourself, compromise yourself, uh, 
uh, and do different things uh, to come uh, into this um, loving embrace, <laughs> okay, by society. Number five, it's Taurus, and it's connected to all the five cards, five of cups that we saw, also five of swords, five of pentacles, and five of wands. Uh, so it's a little bit what wars are made of. If you are in this power position, people will listen to you, so you want to get into power by... Uh, making other people uh, fall into submission before your feet. Uh, so it's it's a lot how the world has been built uh, the last at least 4,000 years. Uh, and here we have the now and it's uh, the past is uh, Mars. Uh, this is probably uh, the first part of April. Uh, and we have a uh, page of cups here. So page of cups, it means kind of your heart. Uh, and it seems to be your heart center of gravity for creation. But it's also where all this uh, um, mess is, like the primordial swamp, where you always end up when you're disappointed, when things doesn't go your way. And here's the answer. So it's the challenge with the Seven of Cups, um, the challenge of uh, staying with whatever is, okay? Even if it's sorrow, sorrow is a homage to what has been lost, that we once loved it and shared it, cherished it so much. So don't be afraid of the sorrow. Uh, and the sorrow will come in cyclic um, manners. So sometimes you will laugh and sometimes you will cry and then you will laugh again and then you will cry again. Just go with it. Uh, don't try to... Uh, don't try to alter what you feel inside. Just feel it. And, and here is the possibility for you to solve all this karma and, and become a, a creator. Uh, a creator, of, a fearless creator straight from your heart. Mm -hmm. So that's beautiful. And that is going to make you both more vulnerable, uh, but also more strong and more grown up. Uh, because you're starting to take responsibility for your own creations and your own self. Uh, here in the future, we have a Four of Swords. So Four of Swords is a situation where you kind, kind of stay and digest what has been. Uh, so And uh, when you digest things, it will also come to your knowledge. You will kind of get some eureka moments. And here we have you, uh, Sagittarius, and your broken heart. The broken heart comes because uh, we find things that's worthy of our love. And sometimes this... Uh, situations, circumstances, people are making us like they don't want to love us anymore. So they break our hearts, but it's still they were worth loving. We were feeling the love, even if it was like um, an abusive situation or a stupid person we fell in love with. They were worth loving because they gave us something, some kind of experience that you needed to have. And it was a gift, even if it was given to you by um, tearing claws or... Um, abusive words or whatever it was so it came to you because you needed uh, needed this not to be abused but to um, kind of stop the abuse with this kind of self-love and self-alignment that we see with these cards like becoming a dragon rider dragon is uh, um, is kind of if the divine uh, in its uh, were manifested on earth they will probably be dragons <laughs> okay so uh, and here becoming a dragon rider. So it's a lot with this. Uh, and it's nothing to fear. Uh, all to gain by stepping into uh, your own emotions. So here is the past for you. And we have the fool. So it seems like Sagittarius or someone in Sagittarius surrounding has been very courageous. Um, and um, also being maybe a reckless. Uh, but... Um, as I said, this fool is kind of holding the key to all this, what I said, uh, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, and coming from exploding stars, stepping into a body, uh, falling over a cliff, dying, stepping into a beautiful afterlife, and and then <laughs> continuing their journey from there. So it's he doesn't really, he really doesn't mind what happens, this one. And we see the sun being reflected in the face of the water as the moon. Uh, so uh, whatever is underneath uh, the sun, he's accepting is also his deep water emotions. Okay, so the fool. 
uh, and the next card is the Emperor. So Emperor is usually Aries. The Fool can also be Aries. It's um, numerology speaking, it's 22. When we get the number 22, we have the Fool. 2 plus 2 is also 4. It's Emperor. We have also Death in the mix. 13. 1 plus 3 is 4. Uh, so um, having a soul, uh, being manifested, having something, some stuff that you can lose and then dying. Uh, so it's kind of this what's going on with us. Uh, so you're starting to understand this. You're starting to understand that um, like the big masters, uh, when they have sit and meditated in a cave for 40 years, they come out and say, well, uh, I know this, everything becomes to dust. So uh, and, and this is kind of you are getting this notion here. Sagittarius is starting to understand this, that there's nothing you can hold on to. Uh, everything is just another adventure, sometimes an adventure that might feel very sad, but also the sadness in a, is an adventure because uh, the sadness gives you um, this digestion and the wisdom and, you know, eventually you will also know what was worth, what is and what will be and what was worth loving. Okay, uh, so here we have the Ace of Wands, so it's a very pure fire energy. And um, uh, I kind of noticed the full cards, the staff here when I was laying back the card. And the snake that's uh, upon it and reaching for the bag, the, uh, the old karma stuff. And here we have the wand that's, it's kind of a serpent, but it's also uh, the solar energy uh, in one point. Like if you had... Um, a magnifying glass into one point so this is the ace of wands uh, so and and this is your eye okay in in i am so where you put this uh, light this magnifying light uh, things will heal things will start to be put in motion for example if you spread your energy very thin into many different projects uh, you might um, um, not be able to manifest anything because uh, uh, you need to put your energy into one point to get the manifestation. and But then we need to leave the thing behind and step to the next thing and the next thing like the fool. But it's still this that you need to kind of make uh, like a little bit checking a little bit where you are spreading yourself a little bit thin. Because you need this center point of gravity of your attention to be able to manifest whatever it is that you want. Um, but it's beautiful, <laughs> okay, and it's very, very spiritual, uh, so you're, you're onto something here. And here we have the Five of Wands, that's, um, you remember I said it was connected to uh, the Hierophant card, all the fives. So the Five of Wands is when we, we step into a situation with another person, and uh, this person is powerful, your your persona is powerful, and this is what's happening between you. There's a, there's a conflict, like you're rubbing off on each other. One is uh, seeing this from their point of view, and this person sees this from their point of view. Both people have their own experience, and they believe that they are right, and it's fine. Uh, it's supposed to be like this, but when you rub off on each other, if you dare to communicate what you really feel, what you really think, um, the other person might be able to hold up a mirror to you so you see why this what you're thinking is maybe flawed or could be adjusted or or maybe you will see that no it's like I said and you will convince this you will try to convince this person and this is the conflict but it's very fertile because this person had uh, their experience, seeing things from one point of view, so you seeing it from another point of view, you can really fertilize each other with each other's point of view. And, and you can discuss and you can talk and you can sort things out and really get somewhere. Uh, we are really usually very afraid of of conflicts. So we rub stuff underneath the carpet. We don't really talk about it. We don't want to have conflict. We want to be like in consensus. Uh, but that's not very fertile. Now, I'm not saying that you're supposed to step out and start a war, but um, uh, try to understand the other person. Uh, try to make them understand you. Uh, read your partner like you would read the manual to your new... Uh, if you have a hobby, like <laughs> uh, you buy a new... Um, motorcycle you check out everything about that motorcycle do the same with your partner or the person that's in front of you your boss or whatever it is 
uh, or your parent. It might be like we are in a very masculine realm here with a four and the five. So it might be you need to buckle head a little bit. Both Taurus and Emperor are horned creatures. So you might need to buckle head a little bit to get to this point of manifestation where both people have this eureka moment and see things uh, like in the other, in the way that the other person sees it. And then you can find like a really good solution, something that's really uh, like fertile and prosperous. Yes. And here we have the seven of wands. And I feel with this card that it, it's kind of this where where you have the conflict and certain things you just don't bow. You just don't budge. Uh, it doesn't matter how hard the resistance gets. You just stand tall in your own convic conviction. And if you feel like that, you need to f be in that state until it comes something that convince you otherwise. Uh, because in other case, you can't align with yourself if you don't align with the feeling inside and if the feeling inside is this I got this I know this then you can't really you know bend your head uh, for um, the sake of not having a conflict I'm not meaning that you need to I'm right under mm, like this it's more like no no this is not how I feel I can't uh, I can't agree with you on this uh, so it's just like this. No one can argue with you <laughs> about what you agree with or not. Sometimes we need to also agree to disagree and then we can kind of digest things and come back another day uh, and, and start and try to solve it. But we should always want to solve things. It's, it's very prosperous. It will come a day uh, for you uh, with different people where you don't want to solve things anymore. Uh, because the other one might be too stubborn <laughs> or you might be too stubborn. So uh, you're both getting really tired of it. And then it's time to let go. Whatever you feel is fine. Go with it. Okay. Even if it's bucklehead and even if it's walking away and even if it's not ever, ever, ever giving up on this. Whatever it is, stay with it and align with it. Don't spread yourself thin. Uh, so that was in the past. So it seems like you have found... Uh, like you have found your strength and you're starting to use it, starting to see like how little, little you actually care about what another person think or feel, I <laughs> sad to say, but it's more how they make you feel, okay, what you're caring about. And you need to step to this door to really get to the next level of understanding. So we, we need to really investigate one level before we can come to the next one. We can't just skip a step and, uh, and start to become Jesus one day because uh, uh, then we will lie to ourselves. So this is, you are not lying to yourself here. You are standing up for yourself beautifully. Okay, and here we have death. Uh, so this is what happens when we do something new. When we do something that we haven't done before or haven't tried before. The old uh, stupid problems that we had, they are just withering away. There's no, they are not there anymore. It's like the old world isn't existing even anymore. So if you have been manifesting certain things in your life because you weren't in your own authority people came and nagged on you or criticized you for everything that you've done uh, now it won't be like this anymore because you have done something you have changed something within you uh, so it's just going to be gone it's like it's just falling in it's like ashes i'm just seeing this dust it's just falling to the ground like the old witches that have lived forever and and then someone is wasting her and she's falling down like dust into the ground so this is what's happening with this what you have been doing before you have had this problem circling with it circling with it circling with it and then you did something that was the solution and poof it's just dust to the floor this old thing that was a problem and notice here uh, i was having this speech about the number four and how it was all connected and here you have 22 zero the fool four emperor and 13 death why uh, the fool has uh, the 22 is because there's 21 cards in the major arcana so when you get the number 22 uh, you have the fool in other case you would never have the fool because the fool is zero so if you are uh, working with numer numerology you would know what i mean see here with this okay uh, so death came uh, here in the now underneath the fool because he went over of course <laughs> so 
he went over into the next state of being. He's an immortal soul, so he doesn't care that much for the body. I want you to, of course, be able to honor your body. As I said, your body has been made of exploding stars, <laughs> so it's valuable and it will be in this shape and form that's you only this time. So uh, you need to honor it and, and give the homage to it. Uh, I've seen this, I saw this um, kind of uh, pattern before. Uh, I think it was with the Virgo reading, uh, this V shape. I haven't noticed it before. Uh, so when you notice a thing, then it's starting to become like it's coming into uh, reality. And here you have the full moon and this is kind of a not a new moon, but uh, it's new moon, uh, symbol for new moon. Uh, and um, he's stepping over the edge and he's dying. So I'm thinking you're really doing some beautiful die before you die here. Uh, my dear Sagittarius, it's just happening um, by you aligning with yourself. You're becoming much more powerful. And uh, death is sacrifice. So the old is sacrifice. It's like it's not even there anymore. Uh, so I'm feeling that is a good thing. It's like you're stepping into um, you don't bother yourself with unnecessary trauma, drama, pain and things that you don't need because it's also this that uh, people are very scared to stay with their pain, but they're also addicted to the pain. So they are creating drama to get that pain, but in the same time, they are super scared of it. But here, uh, you might have ended the addiction to pain by just staying with it, and it just fell like this dusty witch to the floor. And here we have the sun card. Uh, so the sun is 19. It's uh, connected to number one, magician and the wheel of fortune. Um, I think we saw uh, at least the wheel of fortune. Maybe ah, the magician, maybe also. Yes, it was somewhere. Yes, it's there. <laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, you see this this is the all darkness that you leave behind. And this is this light that you're stepping into. Uh, it's fire again. So it's talking about you might also talk about a Leo and the Aries. And we have also the connection to Gemini here. And it's um, the boat there. It's, um, it's a flash um, that's um, like a lightning strike in that boat. And boats are relationships. Uh, so, and we have the Ace of Wands here, that's kind of this electric snake, so it's a lightning bolt. Um, so it might be going on something in your relationship that's, uh, you get this eureka moment, but it might be the end of something. Um, sometimes it's like this, you just get tired of something and then you, you just move on. Um, and here we have the Eight of Swords. Uh, Eight of Swords is this old thing, uh, what we saw with the... Uh, hero font uh, it's all the old things like how people have told you uh, how you need to be so you would be accepted or you wouldn't do mistakes um, it's very good when we come to this earth we get we have parents usually that can guide us and tell us uh, that the stove is hot and you shouldn't run out before cars and uh, all those beautiful things that keeps your body alive uh, but uh, when you are grown up um, in whatever age you are grown up and wakening up, you need to uh, come to terms with all this and try to figure out which you want to have left and which is going to be put on the fire. Uh, so some things that your parents did, said uh, and done, uh, it's not how you are going to do it. Uh, so that sword, you put it and melt it on the fire. Uh, and some of this uh, you want because it was valuable. They had experience. They knew what they were talking about. So those swords you are keeping and there will come new swords also, your own moral values and codes. Uh, so eight of swords there in the center. So I'm thinking you are kind of letting yourself out of an old person, a person of the old, like your old assumption about things, your old notion about things, how you saw things in the old. And here comes also the Wheel of Fortune. So it seems like you are uh, checking off <laughs> uh, different boxes here. Uh, when you checked off the box of authority and kind of stopped minding what happens, just align with yourself. 
uh, you also uh, freed yourself from old karma and you became uh, the creator, but the creator from your heart, from your the f center of feelings. Like if it feels good, you go with it, not in an addiction mood, but um, yes, you do that too. Uh, so, uh, f but you stay and have like a, a moment uh, of consciousness before you take that... Um, um, candy or you know pick up your mobile phone or s light a cigarette uh, you feel whatever feels inside and and this is going to put light to things so also all the addiction might end here it's might just it hasn't any meaning to you anymore you don't need it anymore because when you have stayed with your um, emotions uh, they will also uh, phew, the blackness of it the sadness of it will just uh, disappear like mist in the morning uh, because uh, whatever is put to your soul's light will self become light uh, and this is what we are seeing here so not only have you stepped into your authority you solved a bunch of karma and became the creator so now you have much more responsibility for your own life you can't blame anyone anymore uh, your creations is your creations so whatever you find whenever you get upset I can get really upset with with te uh, like technological stuff uh, and technological stuff can really um, make my day <laughs> like really super complicated and it's because I get really frustrated when the te technological stuff doesn't work because I'm not interested in them I just want them to work uh, so now I'm in this um, stage where I'm uh, staying with this frustration. I'm I'm feeling angry like this. I'm holding myself in, but the fire is burning there. I want to throw my printer away, like over the balcony, but I don't do it. I just stay uh, with the feeling of it all. Uh, and eventually I will solve this, okay? So I have avoided technological stuff uh, as much as possible or had people... Uh, good computer people fixing it but now when I'm working like this for you uh, I need to fix my own stuff so oh, it has been a challenge uh, so and here we have the queen of swords so queen of swords is Libra and Libra is consciousness it's this awareness it's uh, uh, the awakened one okay the awakened one that has the direct hotline to the universal laws okay what's really uh, universal laws not human laws but universal laws so you have uh, this entity inside of you and it's this is probably she that's this stubborn uh, when you're trying to uh, when you're trying to, you want, you want to compromise with another person, but you just don't do it. You just don't do it. It's no, like, it's no budging with you. And it's because you are connected to this higher moral law and, and values. And it might really hurt another person. For example, you might come out as cold as ice and it might really hurt another person. Uh, but uh, you are hurting them because they need to wake up. Uh, and it's, uh, they might hate you for it the rest of their lives and it's fine uh, because you still need to be in tune with the higher law. Okay, so this might be another person in your life, maybe an air person that's su super stupid in your eyes and really abusive and neglective and, uh, you know, whatever. But they are triggering you on exact right points where you need to see that you're still not healed. Uh, so, for example, my printer is helping me with this. <laughs> okay, uh, so and it's it's this. You can't argue with a with a printer. It's it's not going to argue back. It's just like this is what is. So. Uh, what can you do? Okay, uh, and the Queen of Swords is like this also. It's no, it's very hard to budge her because she's, uh, she is so connected to uh, what's wrong and what's right because um, Libra in a manifested like a manifested Libra on Earth will be very rocky like this, or they hate to rock like this. So they won't, they don't want to feel their emotion and can be very stubborn. But if you have met a person like this, it's probably for your uh, for you to become awakened, okay? Uh, so they are there to awaken you. Uh, and uh, their problem with connecting to their feelings is just there to trigger your problem with, um, for example, just accepting that you don't have control in certain situations. And whatever happens is like, okay, so... 
this example with the printer now my printer refuses to print anything and uh, uh, okay, so I carry with me my computer instead and I'm showing people the document, okay? So this is might be your solution and it's no reason to fly off the handles because this thing isn't working. Uh, it won't help. The uh, only thing it will do is to stress you out and Libra hates to be stressed out. They usually um, can be very introvert and, and um, like they need to be in balance. They don't want to have people come and rock them out of balance uh, so <laughs> it's it's like a no-go with this person if you want to change their mind it won't happen uh, so if you're robbing yourself off towards something like this is because you need to uh, see where you're hurting okay and also uh, what i said this with uh, getting new swords uh, the swords that's yours that's coming like down to you like you are Jean d'Arc and your no new moral codes and values uh, so um, it's very beautiful uh, from an like an outside perspective if this is uh, you very fiery and this is someone else that's very fiery um, whatever is if this person is a problem in your life just try to accept or whatever it is like I accept this person is this difficult I accept that they do this I accept that they do that I accept this situation overall I accept its circumstances accept 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 because this is going to take you over the threshold it's some threshold here very high mountains something you need steeper the mountains the harder the challenge so when you're challenged like this uh, always always use non-resistance uh, so it doesn't mean that you buckle down it's just that you accept whatever is it doesn't mean that you change your mind you just accept that the other person won't change their mind either uh, kind of like this <laughs> okay so um for the future for my dear uh, Sagittarius we have uh, king of pentacles so king of pentacles lives in his comfort zone and it seems like if you uh, do this if you just you know you don't care about death anymore uh, then you get really something valuable okay something that you can take with you when you go uh, and it's uh, your own uh, uh, healed soul so you have healed your soul kind of in your body making the body into a temple uh, so it means that um, it means that you don't no longer hold on to things that's not uh, like you can't take them with you when you go. So for example here when you get this you are the creator you are now not, no longer you accept whatever happens you might step into a beautiful riches uh, because uh, you are letting loose of a lot of old karma that have held you back so you might step into a lot of money you might start your own company you might get in this house you have dreamt of forever and ever you might get a husband whatever it is but always remember that when the day come and you need to let it go don't don't label yourself as house owner uh, wife <laughs> or business owner or uh, being rich you are you and these other things is just outer circumstances okay you might step into some real good circumstances now when you let go of this old like what this uh, it's like something hard but uh, old uh, black what I'm seeing that just it felt like dust to the floor so this is gone it's something that has been blocking you like these big mountains but uh, made like an illusion by a witch and the witch is you uh, so you have in your mind, you thought that it was real. Uh, you just didn't, you know, uh, you were blinded. You didn't see the reality. Now when that is, that is gone, the blockage is gone, you can have amazing abundance and enjoy it uh, while it lasts. Enjoy your youth while it lasts because you will also age. And then uh, that is also a, a form of letting go. Enjoy your wealth. It will uh, You will have to leave it at least when you die. So enjoy it when you have it, but be ready to let go. Be always ready to let go. Uh, so it's something more valuable that's coming to you uh, than goods and glory and money. It's um, uh, 
it's something that's that you can take with you is what I'm feeling why wherever you go so it's um, probably this stubbornness in the contradiction to the queen of swords stubbornness um, they are different stubbornness this is a stubbornness because they always want to get back in balance this is a stubbornness because they are kind of shielded usually with a castle so it's like your inner feng shui garden while this is your wake and mind so these two together it's making you into a kind of a superpower but probably it's also people being manifested in your life this might be an air sign this is an earth uh, usually capricorn can be taurus you have taurus also here might be virgo here you have scorpio aries leo it's a lot of different signs here uh, so you might have people on the outside if they are like you have a stupid authority on the outside <laughs> that kind of killing you um then uh, you need to let go like non-resistance non-resistance to this and also step into your own high moral values so don't let a person just because it's an authority step all over you sometimes you need to budge uh, because it's nothing you can do taxes or death for example <laughs> but um know in your heart center that it wasn't just for example if you had to uh, pay a fee that you know you uh, you were not supposed to uh, acceptance and also stay in the notion so you're you're not confusing yourself with what have been uh, judged upon you okay I can't explain it better than that I think <laughs> I hope you understand what I'm meaning that uh, you can accept the fee but you don't accept the guilt for example because you know in your heart that you're not guilty and it might be the other way around, uh, accept the guilt uh, because you know in your heart that you're guilty. Uh, so whatever it is, just accept it, uh, go with it and don't try to, shoo, shoo, uh, okay, rub it underneath, the, uh, rough, <laughs> push it underneath the carpet. Yes, and here we have the five of swords. So I'm thinking you are going to be tested with this new uh, non-resistant self-reliance stubbornness. Uh, so it might happen something, for example, someone will uh, have a conflict with you or try to make you change your mind about something and, and you will be like, no, or you will be like, yes, it, you, you need to be in tune with what's inside of you. I'm seeing here that that you rather want to have like a calm life and no wars, but unfortunately you are an emperor. So probably we'll see here the reasons to why you will stay need to step into war most it is uh, about your soul and uh, that you can't sell off your soul anymore you need to sell uh, step into your soul's authority even if it means losing uh, your body or your life uh, this is how important your soul is and this is why we should never sell ourselves short in love for example giving ourselves up to a person that doesn't really love us even if you love them to death then love them to the day you die but don't sell yourself off so it's a little bit this what I'm seeing that you're going to be tested in in ways like this might be with an authority uh, like a father figure, police, um, justice, taxes, uh, uh, cooperations, um, like your boss at work uh, and you need to stay enlightened, okay, conscious. Uh, in tune with yourself, always feel like how it feels inside yourself. Um, always always have a little eye inside yourself it's like uh, what Odin did sacrifice one of his eyes uh, to the bottom of the wisdom well so uh, this is what you're doing here sacrificing one of your <laughs> one of your very valuable things in into the wisdom well so this appointment can be like this it's it's a it's a feedback from the eye in the wisdom well telling you that you are disappointed over something and, and it's your soul wants to con communicate with you five 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 so it's something happening like in the surface between you and another person your group and another person's group uh, or another group or uh, your circumstances and another circumstance so something is going to go down here um, where you are going to be tested that you can uh, and it's easy if you align with yourself uh, then it will just again just go off as this um, uh, this dust this black dust to the ground if you uh, if you call things as you see them if you see uh, you to tell exactly as you see them uh, for example if it's a real big authority we say uh, the police has um, 
arrested you and you just stay in your own authority just no I didn't do it uh, you just stay calm you still centered you don't mind being in the police station then things are probably going to solve uh, very beautifully okay yes and here we have the temperance card so the temperance card is kind of the uh, it's connected to this um, it's also always fluctuating between the hero font and the temperance card if you 14 it's one plus four is five uh, so this is the library all the experience all the things that your parents told you then you go out and have your own experience and you are like a scientist uh, and you're writing your own uh, book about your moral codes and values and what you believe is true and you put it to your library which you will transfer to your kids they will take your experience with them when they go into the life but they will experience new things because they will be always a little smarter than you also <laughs> because they they don't have as much karma for every generation we free more and more karma so they will be more free uh, and they will put new things to their library and you see where I'm going with this okay so this is a good thing it's life experience and it's something that you need uh, to get to your to get to know what is your view on life, your moral codes, uh, your uh, spiritual uh, path, uh, your relationship path, uh, how you are going to act towards others and how you are going to put boundaries or, uh, like, or yield. Um, it's you that decide. It comes from within you. Uh, okay, so we see Emperor here, Eight of Swords. When you step into your power, you need to sort what's going to stay and what's going to go. And, and here you are tested so you can rub off on other people and test your different... Uh, like if, it, if no challenges would happen, you wouldn't know what your moral code was in this situation. Because it had never happened. So you wouldn't have the experience. So these things need to happen uh, to make you know what's your moral code in this situation. Uh, so, and it's often like this that uh, we need to feel what feels good inside, even if it's not by the book. For example, sometimes you will be a real miser and that is what you need to be because this is how you feel inside. And the next time you will be ge very generous because this is how you feel inside. Go with it. Eventually it will balance like the Queen of Swords uh, and you will find your way because you will test different things and see what has the best outcome for you. You need to make your own life experience. And here we have the chariot and it comes kind of from the ace of wands through the wheel here. So, and the wheel is of course the wheel on the chariot. So you're on your way, you're moving into something else. So it's a new freedom coming for you, Sagittarius, when you have uh, let go of this old, uh, <clears throat> this old witch, your old uh, moral codes and values that have had you underneath the boot, okay? And four of swords, uh, it's connected a little bit with the four... Uh, that the king of pentacles lives within like his comfort zone the square uh, so you need to stay and digest inside your body before you can make a decision about the challenges and when you have a, it will kind of be like an airplane lifting the new you okay the new your new library of of knowing what's right and what's wrong for you in your life time to go also okay so we have this um, um, it's like a journey you're leaving old things behind here okay 45 and it's four it's the emperor five is the hero font and four pl plus five is the hermit so hermit is kind of the teenager moving away from home into their own apartment uh, starting this journey of finding out uh, their way of doing things so you're leaving old things behind that's not for you anymore uh, they are not uh, compatible with you anymore it's it's this old thing and it's gone it's going to be just dust on the floor uh, so endings completions walking away from something because there's nothing else to learn or experience you are at the end of one journey and have not yet become the next this is the moment to bless your experience thus far. Take stock of what you have learned. It's time to move on to new experiences and new way of being. There is nothing left for you to do, be or experience in your present circumstances. Take the risk and move on. Even if you need to be in transition for a time, your destiny is calling you. Uh, 
uh, it's over or at very least the form any relationship has taken is no longer of service to you or the other person. This is a time of letting go of knowing that the journey has come to its conclusion. That doesn't mean anything is lost. Although this card could speak to a breakup, different, drifting apart or the end of a soul contract, it is more about release than destruction. Remember the saying, if you love something, let it go. If it comes back, it's yours. If not, it never was. Endings are always a sign of new beginnings. If you want something deeper, walk away. And I'm thinking this is very talking, very much talking to this, what I said before with the love relationship that um, if you love someone, you love them. But if they are stupid, you don't stay. Okay. And you can still love them forever. Uh, chivalry love. That is going to have to be your new uh, icon or beacon uh, Sagittarius so don't sell yourself off don't sell your love off and don't um, um, don't try to make your love fit into your picture of what you wanted you might have wanted to be married for example but you are uh, you are drifting apart from a person because they don't want to be married uh, with you so you let them go and if they come back maybe then they are yours and, and maybe then you will marry but you won't know if you're just keeping them, keeping them for the hope of that things will change and you don't see any signs that it will ever change. So then you need to let go, even if you love them to bits and pieces. And it's not because I'm saying it, it's because you are feeling it. So nothing I say is you just listen to it. You don't have to do it. You will feel it in yourself that, OK, it's time to let go. You might hesitate for five years it's fine as long as you need to hesitate you need to hesitate no one is rushing you uh, but the sooner you move uh, on or or with whatever you need to move on with this the sooner you will get uh, the rewards of course you can waste a lot of time with um, refusing to do what you know that you need to do uh, <clears throat> so uh, wild uh, red rider blessing bestowed i bring you harmony serenity goodness and order to your life i see from a higher perspective that which can be altered so that the patterns of your life can heal and you can step forward on your path with clear purpose i bring you the embodiment of my mantra opening your heart and granting your prayer immediate answer and the mantra is Om Madmi uh, Om Mani Padme Hum Om Mani Padme Hum. Uh, to the oracle, ask you to let go completely and allow the divine to take over. Harmony and order is promised, and by letting the divine take over is by listening to your inside. Uh, harmony and order is promised, but it may involve you and your life being shaken up a little first. Forget about nice plans and things that make sense and about routines and strategies. It is a time to take your hand off matters. It is a time to let your priorities be adjusted and your viewpoints be turned inside out. You won't be eating at the banquet of life of a clean dish or politely sitting at a table with a fork and knife. You will be messily munching away, sitting on the ground, Feasting on chunks of, li of life that the Divine Mother shoves in your mouth to satisfy your wild and hungry soul. It is not a time to look pretty and worry about appearances. It is a time to come out of your head into your body and allow yourself to feel and experience it without recrimination, analysis, shame or judgment. This is your irresistible invitation to the Divine Party where there's uh, liveness to be experienced beyond that which makes sense to your mind or even to your values and philosophies. It takes a brave soul to be willing to run the risk of uh, realizing you have known very little up in, until this moment, but the gift is in return for this. But the gift in return for this messy, risky journey are abundance and delicious. You won't be the same person after an encounter with the wild red rider, uh, but you will be more of your true self, more alive, empowered and vibrant than ever before. So it kind of sums up the reading really well. 
beautiful. Okay, Sagittarius, you're on your own now <laughs> with this month of uh, April that's coming up with a lot of challenges for you. But remember, uh, align with the divine and where how to do, align with the divine is to just align with what feels. Do whatever feels. Not kill people, not put stupid things in their way, but uh, align with if you feel like angry, for example, feel the anger. You don't have to act upon it. You never have to act upon it. You just need to feel it and then action will come. It will just come naturally. You will come more like an animal that's connected to the divine grid of it all. Uh, you will stay with it. You will get the notion, like the information from the eye in the western well. You, you, you meditate on it. You just stay with it. You feel it. And then it will come a solution to you. Like this. And you're off. Okay. I uh, hope this will help. And I want you to take really, really good care. Your energy is marvelous for this month. So just go with it. Trust yourself 100%. And uh, I welcome you back to my mid-month April reading that I will do in the beginning of April. Okay. Bye-bye.